Hello everyone, my name is Xfrights, and welcome to another episode of Mario the Music Box Arc Insane Route. Now, in today's episode, we're going to be getting... We are actually close to the end of the game. We actually have to get two more endings off the Insane Route, and then... And then we'll be able to get some the finale endings. So... Now... And so we're gonna be getting continuance ending number three. So, but before that, there's actually a little something. Oh, oh, nope, nope, nope. Not, not in this, not in this house. Um, I don't know why I got into that house. Um. Now we actually get a choice to. We actually get a choice to. So we have to, so there are ceiling charm pieces all around Evangeline District 2. There's three of them in total, and we can either use them to get this flower, this flower over here, that'll give you infinite health, or we could get, we can use the ceiling charms to help us get another ending. Now, um, because because in, in order to get this ending, continuance ending three, we have to not only give Reba the headband, but we also have to give him an apple. But first, but first, there was something. Did I already grab the bandages? Yeah. Okay, so there's actually a spirit roaming around this town. I just want to say thank you. <sighs> Is there any way I can repay you? I. I? Oh, you mean your eye? Uh, do you need something for it? I could try to find something to cover it. Would this be good? The bandages for me? Here, take them. Thank you. Two red earth. Oh, yeah. So we set her. So we set the spirit at peace. Now there's more stuff, including stuff that we have to get. Are all around Evangeline District Two. The ceiling charm pieces. Old dusty plate. Red herb. Contained ceiling charm piece. Was that? Who was that? Oh god! Oh wait, wait! I want to see what happens. No! 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 Oh god. What even was that? Hold on, I need to take a closer look at that guy. Whatever it came out of that chest. Hold on. Oh, it's a doll! I shouldn't open it. Oh, we can't even go back to the house. Dang. Alright, well... Hmm. Oh yeah, there's another one right into the house that Reba is in. Uh, there's, a, there's a little chest over here. Dispel charm piece. Which is really a ceiling charm piece, but whatever. Um, there's, I believe, one more area that, that we have to go to. And it involves with these hands. And you are, we actually seen these hands at the at the at the intro. Yeah, look at this picture. 
No, no, no! Uh, let go of me! Somebody, give me my help! What? It sends you all the way back. That's actually... That's actually crap. There we go. There we go! Thank you! Found two in green herb. Oh, it's empty. What do you want? Oh, it looks like there's a false wall here. Oh. Tank seat and tank this patron piece. The charm piece is freed into one, fused into one! Obtain ceiling charm! Nice. Empty? What? Ah. Alright, let's go back. Oh, hallway now. Uh, I don't remember this hall being so long. Which way do I go? This hallway is disorienting. First off, I want to heal myself. Okay. Oh, what the? Oh, what do we have here? Is the mask talking? The child doesn't, doesn't seem to have a hint of life in her. What is a curious cat like you doing around these halls? Did you somehow wander in here? Oh, uh, what exactly are you? The mask is really disturbing. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I'm a magical mask. I I'm Victoria, the master of drama. I was made to keep someone company. How wonderful he was. One day, he had died in an accident. His throat was stabbed with this fairy blade. Oh, how beautiful it was. Such an honorable death. But he left me behind. And this lovely child found me. She has saved me from my loneliness. We have bonded as master and servant. She's my lovely servant doing every action I do. Speechless are you? Once I give you a beautiful death, you can be as speechless as you like. <laughs> Get it? Hold on, why do you want to kill me? I have done nothing to you. Defy me. It's no use to reason with her. If I don't get away, she will kill me. Let's make this fun. I'll let you escape if you can make it to the end of this hall within 30 seconds. If you don't, the door will be locked and you will be trapped here forever. Oh, but you must be careful. There's traps everywhere. Now, let's make this fun. Oh shit. Actually, I, I want to see what happens. <laughs> yes, yes! <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Good job, my dear little girl. What a great servant you are. What a beautiful way to die, isn't it? Just like my creator. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> yup, that happened. Yeah, there's now definitely some holes. Oh god. <laughs> Oh, how sad. Thank <laughs> you. 
go on. <laughs> oh, how precious. You couldn't even survive the traps around here. Goodness. Okay, thank God. Now we can grab the apple. It's a raw apple. I can't imagine any fruit growing under really, uh, rainy conditions. Perhaps the fresh one on, on top of the tree. I don't see any apples here. Maybe they are up higher. Go back. Ouch! The serum charm! It's burning! I see some apples above! I should take one! Obtained apple! Yes! This is perfect! I never see an apple this big and nice! Now this apple, believe it or not, and so this apple is, is in fact a healing item. It heals one point of health. But instead of using that, we are actually going to give it to Reba. Hmm? What do you need? Um... Alice. I don't really want to talk about it. Sorry. Are you okay? Ugh, I'm very hungry. Oh! Let me see if I have anything to give you. Should I give him the apple? Yes. Here, I brought you this. Is that an apple? I love apples! Here, take this as a thank you. Obtain three red herbs! Thank you! Oh, I'm a bit tired now. I'm gonna take a nap. sleep. Oh, I have a very not so good idea, but I feel like we should do it. Murder. Are you sure? Yep. Do it. I can't stop shaking. I don't want to do this. Position wall factory. Murder. I'm gonna regret this. Do it now! I have to do this. I'm so sorry. I put my hands onto Reba's throat and began to strangle him. I'm sorry, I'm sorry! I held this on the floor for a long time. I felt Reba struggle and attempt to push me several times. I continued to strangle him until his breathing ceased. After everything he's done to Alice and everyone else, if I do this I could save myself. Maybe Alice is right. I looked at Reba's lifeless body. I found, I felt an intense amount of guilt. His eyes remained and unchanged. He always had a dead look to his eyes. You did what you had to do. If you kept him alive, he would have betrayed you anyway. It's the only reason I could believe for doing such a horrible thing. Oh wow, that was deep. Um. Now we're gonna murder him, but we're gonna we're gonna see if this actually disables our choice. So we're gonna stop. Now, if you wake him up, you can actually tell him about the memory. Ask him about the memory and boot fragments. 
but we already have all of them, so... And in order to get, to get continuance 4, you would have to go all the way to the hallways and ask him, talk to him in the hallway of pride. But in order to get continuance 3, you can't talk to him at all, so... Luckily for me, though, this file 9 here, the one that led me to the Undertale update, the ending that you actually get through this is Continuance 3. He's still breathing. Now we're gonna wake him up. So, you want a quick and free- you want a quick free ending? This is how you get it. Hey Reba, wake up! Are you okay? What happened? Where's Markion? Yeah, he- yeah, he's- yeah, he actually looks fine. Here, take my hand. I'll help you get up. Thank you. Thank goodness you're okay. Let's go. We can finally leave. As we walked, I suddenly collapsed from an exhaustion. I must have overworked myself. Mario, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Here, let me get you up. I've never seen Reba so kind. We changed a lot during our journey. I wonder why. It looks like we finally made it out. Yeah, we did. But... I lost everything! You're not alone. I've made the same mistakes in the past, and I know it hurts, but it will only hurt for a little while. I have nowhere to go either. We can travel the world together. I won't- I want to help you through this. Will you trust me? So there's actually a choice, when- this doesn't affect the ending in any way, but there's actually something in doubt that gives us a little bit more emotion from Reba. Uh, even after everything, you still don't trust me? I even felt sympathy towards you. I'm sorry, I just can't trust you- Are you really sorry?! You know what? Fine! I'll take you down with me! I don't want to be all by myself again! Wait, Reba! We can talk this out! No! We can't talk this out! Everything I ever had is gone! All I had was you! You're the only person left to keep me company! I looked into Reba's eyes and saw genuine sorrow. I took a deep, br a deep breath and responded in a soft tone in hopes to calm down. Please, put the weapon down. We can build trust each other in over time. How are you this compassionate? Because there is one, there's one thing I do trust about you. You have changed. You do regret your past actions, and you learn to become a better person. Then, I really like. I would really. I really would like for us to. <gasps> Did I say something bad? I'm sorry. Hey, there's no need to cry anymore. The nightmare is over. Even if I do move forward, the guilt will make me confess. I don't want to spend in my life in a prison. Well, why don't you disappear? Wh what? You know... You can go under a new name and start over. I can, but what am I going to do? How am I going to start a new life? People would recognize me. We can find a small town far away from here. We just have to walk for a long time. <sighs> I've been trapped here for centuries. Every time I die, I just come back with lesser memories. The more I forget, the more I just want to start my entire existence over. I, oh, I wanted to have a simpler life. How about you? Sometimes, 
I wish I owned a chicken farm. I'd love to work as a farmer. You still have that wedding band I gave you, right? Yeah. We can sell it to, to get some food, clothing, and shelter. Then, we can start our new journey. Then, we can, we can go our separate ways. Or, if you trust me by then, I can stay with you. Thank you, Reba. Thank you for helping me. I really can't trust you after all, friend. I will live my life. I won't let anyone stop me. So Mario actually went to go on in a peaceful life. Now, all of this seems good. All of this seems good. I will say that right now. Like, this is a better ending. Much better ending than the previous endings that we've gotten in this game. Like, definitely the best ending so far. CG were added to the gallery. Oi, I got some food ready. You coming? Hmm. <laughs> you seem to really like the ocean. You always come here after sunset. The ocean calms me. I get old memories when I come here. I get to remember my brother and Peach. You don't have to worry about that anymore. You've started your new life. That's all that matters. That's all in the past. Thanks for everything, Reba. But I'd like to be alone for a while. I'll go back uh, in the cottage then. Don't get, don't stay too long. Your food will get cold. I wish I could just float away in, into the sea. I think it will be so calm and peaceful. Every now and then, and I think about what happened back in the mansion. Sometimes I get nightmares about it, even with all that I managed to keep moving forward. Riva and I bought the farm and spent most of my days in there. I was finally happy. Riva also changed. He started to feel more human. He became very compassionate to not just animals, to not just animals, to other humans as well. One day, I started to feel weaker and weaker. Reaper have always helped me whenever I was unable to work out. As I went on, it became frequent. Eventually, it became very difficult to get out of bed. I also began coughing blood. This was not a normal sickness. I knew. I was going to die. Reba always gave me a, that sad expression. I noticed that he, that he even hit tears. I even heard sobbing. I hated it. I didn't want to hear anyone cry for me. It's only been a few years since I abandoned my own life. But I can already tell my time is up. Hey, are you awake? You haven't gone out of bed for a few weeks. Reba! <laughs> I will admit, I don't think I have much longer to live. Please, don't say that! You're a very good friend, Reba. Always there for me. <sighs> I knew this wasn't an ordinary illness. I've witnessed this before. Alice had the same illness. Looks like she gave this, gave this illness as a goodbye gift. <laughs> You can't go. Please, don't leave me like Elizabeth did. He was, she was my everything. My only reason to care about others. Then, promise me. Promise me that you won't go back to your old ways. I know you can be a better good person. I'll leave everything I want to you. This home, the farm, everything. I want you to live a happy life and start a new family. Please. For me. Don't cry. I'll always watch over you. I promise. I promise that. Mario? No, no! Wait! I wanted to say goodbye! You can't just leave me like this, please! <laughs> you can't. I couldn't even thank you. You're so cruel just to leave me like this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I couldn't say everything I wanted earlier. There was so much I wanted to say, but now you won't be able to hear me. After he passed away, 
I placed him in cruelly made coffin. I didn't expect him to pass away this fast. It took me a while to find a place to bury him, knowing he had the same illness Alice had. I didn't want anyone else to suffer the same fate. I had to go to a far remote forest area. I kept crying along the way, regretting that I never got to say what I wanted to say. Why? Why is it when I'm finally happy it gets taken away from me? Why, why, why? How could I have been so stupid? I should have known this would happen. I'm cursed to live in a miserable existence. Why can't I just finally die? Why? I haven't felt grief in centuries. The last time I felt this pain is when I lost Elizabeth and my two daughters. It hurts so much. It feels like my chest is about to explode. Goodbye. Oh my god! Oh my god! I hate watching that cutscene every single time! Oh my god, that is- that is so sad. The saddest ending in the entire game. I don't know- I don't know which one is sadder, honestly. Omitted Memory or Continuance 3. I'm leaning towards this, though, because... Reba changed as a person. Luigi still knows Mario's Mario existed. And then Reba was living with Mario, but then Mario had the same exact illness Alice had. God damn it. Ugh, Alice, why? Why did you have to do this? Well, I hate you, Alice. Alright guys, well, that's the ending of Mario the Music Box Arc Continuance 3. Um, that's another ending from the game. Um, there's, I think there's one more ending from the Insane Route. And that is the, that is the Continuance 4 ending. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.